The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. Well, the Pharisees, in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of the cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, how well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is Corban, meaning dedicated to God, you allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. Good morning. As we continue our readings from the Gospel of Mark, Jesus once again finds himself in a dispute with the Pharisees over Jewish legal customs. This dispute goes for 23 verses in Mark, but today we just read the first 13. The first verse kind of gives us a lineup if we're going to use a baseball analogy. Jesus is getting noticed. His Galilean ministry has reached the ears of the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem. News of healing the sick, feeding thousands, and raising the dead travels very quickly even in first century times. So they sent a group of scribes and Pharisees from Jerusalem, a 100 mile, 32 hour walk to investigate Jesus of Nazareth. He has proclaimed that the kingdom of God is at hand. He has healed the sick, he has fed thousands, he has raised the dead. With all that being the case, the first thing this august, authoritative, learned group from Jerusalem wants to question Jesus about is his disciples washing their hands. Now, Mark doesn't say this in his gospel, but I think Jesus' first words to that question is what? Oi, then, a hundred miles, 32 hours of travel, and this? Is your first question? <laughs> now, in fairness to the Pharisees, we need to understand their mindset. Moses is prescribed in Exodus, Exodus 30, 17 through 21 to be exact, the rules for priests washing their hands and feet before offering sacrifice or eating their share of the sacrifice. That was the law. But the Pharisees believed that strict observance of the law, total separation from all Gentile defilement would restore God's favor to Israel. They created the tradition of walking, washing before all meals. Also, since you may come in contact with an unclean person or product in the marketplace, you would wash after being there as well. Cups, jugs, kettles, 
even beds needed to be purified. And the Pharisees expected all Jews to follow these traditions, or not, or in their eyes, you were a person. But Jesus is having none of this. In their human minds, in their argumentative manner, they were probably expecting Jesus to present reasons for an exception for his disciples. Instead, he challenges the very foundation of the Pharisaic legalism. He cites Isaiah, who is telling the Israelites they have lost intimate contact with God. They are observing, they are serving with empty formalism, devoid of any authentic love of God. Jesus tells the Pharisees that they are neglecting what truly God wants in favor of their human agenda. He tells them that they have even allowed their traditions to overcome God's commandments. How this indictment must have cut these men to the core. These were learned scholars, upholders of tradition. They considered themselves exemplars of Jewish piety and guardians of the law. Yet, Jesus tells them they have actually emptied the law of its spirit and authentic meaning. My brothers and sisters, what about us today? Are we guilty of the same sins as the Pharisees? Do we come to Mass with a deep desire to worship God and grow closer to Him? Or do we come superficially and because it's part of a routine? Jesus' words to the Pharisees are as relevant now in 2022 as they were in 33. We Christians can have a tendency to substitute religiosity for genuine obedience to God's word. When we come looking for a personal encounter with Jesus is when we find true religion. It's only then we find that religious practices come to life and serve their true purpose a deep transformation of the heart to make us true disciples of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.